What's up guys, Nick here with another episode of Mass Effect! Last episode we finally proved that Saren is a bad guy and became a Spectre ourselves. So now we need to go talk to the Ambassador. Fantastic. Our favorite Ambassador, Udina. I don't know, I don't want to know what he's doing. Um, wards are, no, it's... yeah, there we go. Sometimes I can't figure out where I'm supposed to be going, so I just, like, might even end up going somewhere I'm not supposed to go. Udina, Udina. Excuse me, Commander Shepard. Could hey, you what's up, bye. Time? No. You can't take a bit of my time, sir. So, uh, my apologies for not so many episodes this this week, uh, uh, been a rough week. I was going to record yesterday, but when I was leaving work, I had a massive headache, and it, it hurt. Like, it hurt to the point where I was almost in tears on how much pain I was in. Alright, where's Udina? I hope I didn't walk by him. Oh, I think I know. Uh, uh, never mind. I know where I need to go. I'm supposed to go to CSEC. And also, apologies, there's not much action going on. But that's, that's primarily what Mass Effect's all about. It's more about the story than having a ton of action. Which I don't blame it. So uh, I did. I did finally pick up Final Fantasy 15, even though the game did just come out this week. All right, where is he? Elevator to Docking Bay. I think that's where we're supposed to be going. Yeah, but yeah I pick up Final Fantasy 15 uh, Digital. So that way Bud, uh, Bud and I can play together once uh, I get I multiplayer. Because apparently multiplayer is separate. After the attack on Eden. But uh, I'm looking forward to it. It looks really good. The Geth killed billions and forced us from our I'm trying to keep world. away from Most any kind of gameplay footage and stuff. I saw... Uh, uh, the up, 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 down, down, creator, uh, Austin Creed, which I, also known as Xavier Woods from WWE, saw him, uh, streaming it, I'm like, I, I want to watch it, but at the same time, I don't want the game spoiled for me, so, I watched a tiny bit, and it was a bit that had no, uh, fighting, so I'm like, oh, That's great. That's all I could think. Okay, here we go. I've got big news for you, Shepard. Captain Anderson is stepping down as commanding officer of the Normandy. The ship is yours now. I kind of hope uh, Mass Effect Andromeda is going to be like amazing. You know the crew. Perfect ship for a Spectre. Treat her well, Commander. I'll take good care of her, sir. I know you will, Commander. Yes, I'm yawning a lot. My apologies. I wasn't yawning before what I started. What kind of do we have? And I was like, oh, I need you all look. Don't even try to find him. But we know what he's after. The conduit. He's got his Geth scouring the Traverse looking for clues. We had reports of Geth in the Pharaoh system shortly before our colony there dropped out of contact. And there have been sightings around Noveria. Find out what Saren was after on Pharaohs and Noveria. Maybe you can figure out where the conduit is before he does. <laughs> is that it? We have one more lead. Matriarch Benezia, the other voice in that recording. So they're basically giving us a scientist who specializes in the, the three main missions. We don't know if which she's is three involved, different planets we have to go to. It might be a good idea to try and find her, see what she knows. Her name's Liara, Doctor Liara Tassoni. We and then after that, she was the final mission. But the missions do take a while. Uncharted worlds in the Artemis Tau cluster. The colonists on Pharos might still be alive. It's your decision, Commander. You're a specter now. You don't answer to us. But your actions still reflect on humanity as a whole. You make a mess and I get stuck. <laughs> you don't answer to us, but I'll try not to anything you do reflects off of us. Glad to hear it, Commander. 
Remember, you were a human long before you were a Spectre. I have a meeting to get to. Captain Anderson can answer any questions you might have. Because they're not a part of the council. Uh, do I have to talk to him too? Yes, Commander. Oh no, I, I should go. go. I'll be here. If you Bye. Y'all probably heard my air, uh, the heating go off. I woke up this Stand morning. Stand by, shore party. Decontamination in progress. Decontamination. Decontamination in progress. I think that's also supposed to be like a. I heard what happened, Captain Anderson. Survives a hundred battles and then gets taken down by backroom politics. <laughs> Just watch your back, Commander. It's Things true. go bad on this mission. You're next on their chopping block. Saren's out there somewhere, and we're gonna find him. Everyone on this ship's behind you, Commander. Hundred percent. I'm seeing that the game audio isn't picking up on my say to the crew? Uh, the microphone. So that's good. This is Commander Shepard speaking. We have our orders. Find this Saren is Commander Nick Shepard. I won't lie to you, crew. This mission isn't going to be easy. For too long, our species has stood apart from the others. Now it's time for us to step up and do our part for our the rest species of the galaxy. And immediately shows show tally. humans are made of. <laughs> our enemy knows we're coming. When we go into the Traverse, Saren's followers will be waiting for us. But we'll be ready for them, too. Humanity needs to do this. Not just for our own sake, but for the sake of every other species in Citadel space. Saren must be stopped. And I promise you all, we will stop him. Well said, Commander. Captain will be proud. The Captain gave up everything so I could have this chance. We can't fail. Yes, sir. Yay! Paragon plus four. Alright, so we're going to go to Par or Pharaohs first. Pharaohs? Pharaohs? I call it Pharaohs, I don't know. Pharaohs! Probably gonna give us a tutorial. No? Oh, good. So, actually, we might go to Liar's dig site first. Issue is, I don't remember which planet it is. Either. Sparta! Um, let's go to Athens and see if it's there. I'm trying to skip it. Not working. Message from Alliance Command coming in. I'll patch it through. No! Shepard, this is Admiral Hackett from Alliance Command. We've got a situation here, and you're the only one that can handle it. What do you need, Admiral? There's an Alliance training ground where we test weapons and technology and live fire simulations. One of the VIs we use to simulate enemy tactics in the drills is no longer responding to our override commands. It's gone rogue. Oh. How many casualties so far? Seventeen Marines were killed in the simulation exercises before we realized what That's had happened. That's fantastic. That's when we contacted you. VI support is critical to our military success. They process thousands of status reports and react in nanoseconds. No human can do that. But as advanced as this thing is, that military strategy is still just a VI. It's not self-aware, and it's completely disengaged from any networks. That's where you come in. We need you to fight this is an optional the mission, I have to do it. I might. Manually disable it. Don't worry, Admiral. I'll take that thing out. I know Spectre's answered the Council, but you're still human. You're still part of the Alliance military. And right now, we need you. The VI controls all the facilities, weapons, drones, and automated defenses. You're the only one that can pull this off, Shepard. Good luck. Sure. I'm the only person that can do it. 
Um, like I said, I don't remember... I can't go into the pause screen. Oops! Always do that, because... It's in the other games you can actually do that. Okay. It's... Basically, I'm just looking for it to pop up with a, like a planet looking thing. Surveying... That's nothing. Yay! Free oxygen! So it wasn't Athens. And I know this seems kind of boring, and it kind of is. But it's the only way to find some of these locations. None of these... Seem familiar to me. Commander, I'm picking up a signal from the planet's surface. It looks like an automated distress beacon. The hell? No. <laughs> I'm not doing that. Sorry. That's not that's not the mission. Do that one later. Wasn't Sparta either, so let's go to Kronos. Or. Gnosis. Use an unneeded K. Knoch. There it is. Thank God. And it probably tells me in the, uh. uh. dictionary stuff or diary journal stuff, but. Williams and Tally. Whee! <laughs> this vehicle section is terrible. Commander, I'm picking up some strange readings. I'm not the best at these, and they take them out of the tubes. So. It does not hurt my feelings. Basically, all you have... It's like, think of Star Fox 64 in the tank section, and make it crap. It's not utter crap, but it's still not, you know, amazing. So, uh, we got a little bit until we get some fights, uh, let's make a, let's put out a question, uh, has anyone else played Mass Effect? Uh, if so, tell me your favorite mission from any of the three games. Could be any mission you want, I don't have a preference, just, uh, give a description of what it is, tell me why you liked it so much. Uh-oh. Hey, they're here. What? Alright, not gonna complain. It missed me somehow. Oh, tackle attack. Tank tackle! <sighs> so yeah. Um, mine? I'm, I'm not sure what mine would be. I'll, I have a lot of them. I think my favorite one... Ow! Got hit. Um, I think my favorite one would probably be the uh, the school mission on Mass Effect Three. You basically have to go. Uh, see, this is the reason why I don't like this. It's hard as hell to turn. Basically, you have to go into a school, and if uh, Jack survives in Mass Effect 2, 
she's there to help out and you basically go through the school to help out the students and eventually you drive one of the uh, Cerberus, Cerberus vehicles which I found was pretty cool That missed. Eating this juggernaut! How is that missing? Oh, that's why. And sorry if I'm sniffly. I, I don't know. It seems like a lot of things are happening as soon as I want to record. Oh, that dude got. Alrighty then. So now we have to open a gate. And yes, I know I'm like really far away. And we're on an alien planet and somehow you can breathe. There's no oxygen, but apparently there's oxygen, maybe? I don't know. I terribly, terribly missed. Also, I haven't sold all my weapons yet. Oh, maybe I did. Gate is now open. And yes, there's a lot of times where there's no, absolutely no music. Liquid hot magma. It's like water. Like red water. It supposedly goes through the enemy shields and just causes them actual damage for the cannon. I'm not, you know, entirely sure. Let's check. Oh no, it does both. It somehow bypasses half of that and hits the other half. And whatever. And no, this can't is not upgradable, so it doesn't get stronger over time and all that stuff. Level up. Let's go ahead and use that point. I always do that. As soon as I get the point, I'm going to use it. Alright. Hacking is now fully upgraded. So after that, we're going to probably go for engineer. Yeah, recharge, tech, and all that. Tech protection. Whoop. I'm going to at least try and get to the uh, facility before episode's over. And I'm, I, I deem myself pretty proficient. Now, there are some missions like this one. This one's actually a pretty short mission compared to the others. But overall, it is enjoyable. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoops. Story-wise, I think this one's probably my favorite one. Just because you have a main antagonist that you have to go after. When in the second and third, there really isn't a main antagonist. But it's basically like a group of enemies. This one, there's one guy using the Geth. And the others, it's... Uh, I'll spoil that later. Don't want to ruin Mass Effect before I even play them. Whee! Uh, let's do this. Oh, yeah. I'm glad I'm off on a Saturday. I was off last Saturday, too, so. But usually having Saturdays off, I can chill a little bit more because Saturdays don't go by very fast for me. I don't know, I don't know how I can make that sound logical, but. It's like during the week when I have a day off. It seems like the days go by really fast. And today it doesn't seem to be going really fast, to be honest. Whee! And yes, these are just regular troops. They can die pretty easily. 
How much money do I have? I don't know why it's in equipment. Wow. Over a million. Yeah, I did sell all my stuff. I think I did last... Last episode or episode before last? Actually, no. It might have been... Uh, last one. Wow, that hit no. Oh! If only I jumped a little bit sooner. I might have done it. Alright, this is where we have to depart from our little ship thing. It's only at 20 minutes. 20 some minutes. Forgot the intro is like 7 8 seconds. Uh oh. They could not have seen me. Tally, damn it. Did I get both of them? Nice. I do hate the fact there's no uh, melee button. The melee button, the others would be in this one that puts the gun away. Can I hit him from here with this? Maybe? Yeah, I did. Huh. Oh, no, it didn't. I hit somebody with it. I'm not sure who. He ain't up there. Okay. I wish we had the technology to make those shields. That'd be pretty cool. And when they finally do add in music, it's, it's kind of appropriate music. So It's not like one of those games where there's... Like Destiny, where you have an epic, epic sound going and music and everything, and it's like you're fighting a couple like grunts. It's like what? This one's appropriate. It's not overly awesome, but it's still good. Uh oh. This is the only time, not the only time, this is the only game that you see those kind of enemies. Uh-oh. Uh-oh! I'm gonna have a rocket launcher, so... I'm gonna rely on the Peshtar. Screw that. See, see, even though you can carry the weapons, it says untrained. Ow! Oh wow. That hurt a little bit. Um, I zoomed in. Thank you. Wow, that did like no damage. There's someone else? No. I actually don't remember how long this mission is. I know most of it is this traveling. But I know, there, I know there's at least another 15 minutes or so. Alright, we're going to call it here. Well, the game's going to save for me. Thank you all for watching this episode of Mass Effect. Next time we're going to go into the dig site and try and find L Dr. Liara. So thank you for watching. Catch you next time.